afternoon. I'm Karen Joyce Seedman. I'm Peter Garrett, and this is Futurescope. Children are learning how to use computers at the age of five. Kindergarten is no longer the way that you or I remember it, and that's the first topic on the Probably program. Probably one of the major obstacles in our schooling system is that children lose interest quickly and are easily bored by teachers, but they aren't at all bored by computers. In fact, computers provide a form of fascination for the children, a chance to learn to have fun and learn at the same time. At Bancroft Elementary School, that's exactly what's going on for many of the children. Learning to be computer literate is what it's all about, as Futurescope's Luriora Frucht reports in the classroom. Typical looking elementary school from the outside, but as we're about to find out, Bancroft Elementary School is not so typical inside. This is the Bancroft Computer Lab. It makes this one of the only elementary schools in Montreal to house a computer-based learning lab. The handful of elementary schools that do have computers use them to teach children traditional subjects in this untraditional way, starting with the ABC. They're seen by many as educational gold mines because they can do what educators strive endlessly to do, hold a child's attention span. Even geography can be fun. At Bancroft, an appreciation of the computer and its potential is an end in itself. By learning basic programming and logic, these students are becoming what's called computer literate. Watch. Hi. Hi. Is this day one or day two? Day two. All right, power up. Let's go. Remember yesterday, you used the accept command. We put in the number of sides. Then we asked the question, how many sides? Elias Leosis is responsible for this computer literacy program. I asked him what the children are learning. And specifically what the children are doing now is they're learning about uh, geometry. They're learning, for example, that uh, so many degrees of turn will accomplish a certain uh, figure. And as a matter of fact, we have, together as a group, we have come up with a, what we call a module, which when we use this module will uh, design for us any kind of polygon. And then the kids are using it uh, later on. Uh, as you see here in the background, Alex is using it to animate it. And he's creating a, sp a design of his own. Children are really learning that no matter how complicated things are, they can all be broken down into individual parts. And that's the important thing about knowledge. It's built on small structures which have built a whole gamut of knowledge that man has today. I asked these kindergarten students what they could do with a computer. We could make whatever we want, just, just could decide and then make it. Write down all the instructions and everything like that and make it. Anything? Oh, sure. What have you made? A steamboat yesterday and for today we're making, we made, we, we, we finished all the work. We've, we've done, That's we've it? almost finished this steamboat. This is your steamboat? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You designed this yourself? Yeah. Yeah. How did you do that? Oh, uh, we just had to look at these squares and everything. Each of these squares is ten steps for Mr. Turtle, whatever he is. Hey! There is our steamboat. Drawing boats isn't for everyone, though. This student prefers to row a boat. To music, she has programmed herself. Introduction of computers to this classroom in January, the worlds of many of these children have already changed. But this is only the beginning. Within a decade, many predict that all children will be exposed to and learning with computers by their side. This is Leora Frucht at Bancroft Elementary School's computer lab. With me in the studio now is Mr. Elias Leosis of Bancroft Elementary School. Mr. Leosis, can you tell me how early does a child really start in your elementary school? 
Well, we've had uh, kids introduce the computer as early as pre-kindergarten, although they haven't had the, the opportunity to use the computer on, on their own basis. The earliest they start is at kindergarten level. Certain Which children would be four or five years of age? Well, approximately five years old, yes. I see. So when they don't touch a computer, what kind of exposure would they have at that point when they see it? Or well, uh, you're referring to the pre-Ks now. Yes. The pre-Ks uh, are... I would bring them into the computer lab that we've set up, and um, they would be sh shown certain interactive programs, um, you know, the usual games and things like this, so they can have a feel of the environment. And some of them that uh, show a keen interest, uh, at some time when uh, we have the time, we bring them in in a single, uh, you know, a child at a time, and they can sit down and we teach them a few other th aspects of the computer. What fascinates a child the most when he first sets his eyes on the computer? Is it to, to push the buttons or is it to, to watch the, the cursor move? Or? Well, I think it's a human quality when uh, someone is able to uh, carry out an action and get a reaction, you see. Okay. Uh, I think that's, that's mainly the focus of why computers are uh, such, have such a potential in education. Uh, when a child is able to, a simple thing as pressing a keyboard, and he gets a reaction from the computer, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a, a bell or a sound or a human voice coming through the uh, television set or the monitor. All these things give the quality that there is something there and you can interact with that. In the segment, I noticed one child was playing some sort of song or something. Are you teaching them music uh, as one of the subjects or are they well, just... Well, this is it. A lot of people say, what uh, are children learning when they're learning computer literacy? And I always focus on literacy per se, when an individual learns how to read and write. Well, mm -hmm. he can put this idea or this, this literacy to use to the whole gamut of knowledge. So in the case of a child who's interested in music, um, the computer is able to generate sound. Mm -hmm. If the child knows how to manipulate these, uh, these generations of sound, it can create music. And, and write songs. And, and they can create, yeah, and, sure. And, and this is what is happening. There are specific programs, mind you, that give extra facilities so that you can write music of quality uh, and you can learn about the formats of music. But um, simple sounds can be created, uh, like Row, Row, the Boat, which you noticed. What about the ABCs and, and the one, two, threes at, at that level? Are they learning that on the computer itself uh, by punching that in? Or well, definitely uh, by being able to, um, I, in the case of my own son, uh, who has not entered the school system, I was able to bring this interactive program with the ABCs and he was able to distinguish uh, the letters and now mm -hmm. he know, has learned about the alphabet and because the program also has a little bit of counting he's able now to distinguish the numbers, uh, the, the Arabic numbers between one and, and nine and so forth. So uh, they're learning uh, much earlier than they can enter into s the school system and they learn by themselves without the teacher having to sit down and, and make it an effort to teach kids. As these children progress, as they get to the grade four and five level, will they be more and more exposed uh, to using computers, learning programming, software? Definitely, this kind of stuff? definitely. Uh, the potential is there. I see it now. Our program is only be going in about approximately of four months, and I have students now who are ready to enter the high school system, who can manipulate the computer in in such ways that really fascinates me. Um, the thing is, it's just like um, the snowball, you know, off the mountain. Once it's, it's hard to get Once it started. It rolls, Once it's rolled, it's it just, gets, it's it just there. The potential of the machine is there. How do the children interact uh, with one another um, when there's a machine around them as opposed to just That's working with a blackboard? Does the machine bring them closer together? Yeah, th this is the other question a lot of people ask. Maybe it'll isolate human beings. They, they mm -hmm. will become isolated with a machine. And I find it's quite the contrary. Children, because they are able to share experiences, are often wondering about uh, demonstrating to their peers what they've accomplished mm -hmm. and sharing uh, their modules and so forth. So uh, if anything, I think it's going to increase the potential of social interaction. And for me as a teacher uh, who has gone through the regular teaching, Blackboard and so forth devices, uh, I have often considered myself as a, in, a, in a criminal sense in the sense that when you have children just sitting there for long periods of time <laughs> looking at a person talking to them and of course they do get bored and if we can find a way of transmitting knowledge in a short span and at the same time making it as play which do is they learn thing. faster oh definitely they are. there's no question about it they learn because the way of teaching the proper methods can always be refined to the point where as a teaching tool the computer can be used to transmit knowledge in a speed which which uh, I think cannot be reckoned with it's really phenomenal 
I noticed that in your classroom there are different manuals. Um, I don't know whether they're really cartoon oriented or, or what. No, what I are these tend manuals? To, f to fill my uh, my classroom with all manuals of uh, whether it be technical or not, so that the, ch the children have the you know uh, when they feel that they want to uh, just browse through literature and, and look at what is happening in the computer field. Uh, they can just look at magazines, and it's it's proven itself quite a success in that children are now able to go through such a magazine like Compute, which is very popular in the microcomputer world, and they're able to copy programs and, and put them into the computer and get So they're, lear they're learning programming? They're, they're learning, well, the language that we use is called Pilot, and yet I have children who are now know something about the language basically.